hello friends today in this video we will discuss about non disjunction of chromosome so what is means the chromosomes are not separated properly it's the failure of the separation of sister chromatids or the homologous chromosome during cell division so if you look at this video and if you see this the chromosomes they are perfectly aligned okay so right now in this case if you can see here these chromosomes are perfectly aligned and once this chromosome separation will start they will start separating during anaphase and if you see here in this case the pair of homologous chromosome are separating properly okay in this case if you can see this pair of chromosomes are separating properly so in this case the cell division is proper the chromosome inheritance will be proper the sister chromatids will be separated properly however if anything that results that if this pair of chromosome instead of separating here if they move on to this particular side in that case what will happen the chromosome will not get separated properly okay so here the chromosomes are getting separated properly the cleavage of cells also occur and we found that there are two cells in each cells the number of chromosomes are retained properly okay so this is what happened in case of normal separation however if you look at this particular video and this is showing the meiosis one video so you can see here this cell contains two chromosome and the separation of this homologous pair of chromosome is not properly you can see here that instead of this getting one chromosome and this getting one chromosome they have got two chromosome so it will result in that one of the cell will completely lack chromosome in this case the the number of chromosome is double now what will happen when they fuses with sperm cells so what will happen after this fertilization process you will find that there will be trisomy as well as there will be monosomy will result now in this case after fertilization what you will found that a monosomy will result okay why because in this case these cells are not containing chromosome they are completely devoid of chromosome so once they are devoid of chromosome what does it indicates it indicates that the chromosomes that is present here it is coming from the sperm cell it is not coming from your egg cells and as a result of which monosomy occurs however if you look at this particular portion just because they contains uh, this two chromosomes here so instead of carrying instead of being haploid cell we know that germ cells are haploid cells so instead of being this they are containing two copies of chromosome and when they fuses up with these sperm cells they form trisomy cells okay so they have one extra copy of cells so several chromosomal disorders that occurs because of this because of improper segregation of chromosome okay so if you look at this event so during the meiosis one if the chromosome is not separated properly we are going to get two cells with trisomy condition and two cells with monosomy condition so we have two cells with 2n plus 1 chromosome and we have two cells with 2n minus 1 chromosome so we know that meiosis is consist of two different phase and we have discussed about meiosis in my video which you can find it in the channel so what happened in meiosis 2 so if you look at this meiosis 2 you will found that this is the normal condition of separation of this two chromosome okay however when this cell will again undergo division to produce cells containing single copy of chromosome if this separation is not proper then in that case you will find that after meiosis 2 one of this cell will lack the chromosome and one of this cell will contain an extra copy of chromosome so again what will happen when this cell fuses up with sperm cells when it will undergo fertilization in that case what will happen this zygotes 
will be completely normal because they have single chromosome from egg and single from this sperm cell to produce diploid cell both of these haploid will produce normal diploid cell so in both this condition we will found diploid cells however in case of this part which you can see here the egg cells is completely lacking chromosome and when it fuses up with the sperm it will lead to a monosomy because it is lacking one chromosome and since this cell contains extra copy of chromosome so when it undergo fertilization with sperm cell it will lead to trisomy so in the meiosis one we were getting two trisomy and two monosomy cell in this case we will get two normal diploid cell one monosomy and one trisomy so in different exam they ask about uh, what kind of cells will be produced in meiosis 1 and in meiosis 2 after your after the chromosome fails to separate it properly so i hope you guys have understood what happens in meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 if the chromosome